And I know if your family is anything like my family, right now we are looking at the calendar and we very clearly see August. Meaning? School is coming up yep. soon. And right now schools across the country and here at home are facing a problem. There is a lack of teachers for the classrooms. Neil Fisher spoke with the Cleveland Metropolitan School District to see how they're uh, dealing with this shortage. With just 14 days until class starts, the Cleveland Metropolitan School District is on the hunt for educators. We have noticed that we do not have as many candidates. Since June, CMSD has added more than 100 teachers. However, around 150 teaching positions remain open. We are validating um, literally hour by hour where our vacancies are, um, what, what kind of opportunities uh, still exist. Ward says there aren't as many college graduates joining the field. The nation's second largest teachers union has been eyeing this problem for years. There's been a teacher shortage for years. What you're seeing now is that it's reached a tipping point. The shortage came to light during the COVID-19 pandemic. In the Willoughby Eastlake City Schools, 90 of their 540 teachers were out every day. Unfilled simply because we just there isn't a person to put in those positions. Not every school faces the teacher shortage. The Parma City School District is fully staffed, and the Shaker Heights City School District says they haven't had a problem finding teachers. But with just two weeks left, applications are still being reviewed. The teaching profession is um, still a great uh, career path for individuals who want to impact our next generations. The shortage of teachers is impacting some areas greater than others. NBC News reports that Florida has 8,000 teacher openings. In the Akron Public Schools, they're looking for nearly 70 teachers. Betsy. Yeah, and Cleveland and Akron are in, you know, Ohio's top five as far as the size of the school district goes. So certainly a big uh, problem there. And the countdown is on not only for the families, but also for the school districts. 14 days here in Cleveland. There you go. All right. Thanks so much, Neil.